Hello, this is Brian Lealy with the TM Group. Thanks for joining us today. Today I want to talk with you about grant management within Business Central. Uh, lots of organizations uh, have some challenges when it comes to reporting on grants. And today I want to show you and share with you the ability to report and record grants within Business Central. So some of the challenges that organizations face when they have to you know, manage grants or work with grants is being able to record that grant initially. So does our system allow us to actually record something so that we can start tracking a grant? especially those types of grants where we actually don't receive anything up front. Maybe it's a, the type of grant where we have to submit for reimbursement. So there's really no financial transaction that is uh, initiating that grant. Well, we still want to have visibility to what that awarded amount was so that we can kind of forecast out and understand what our available funds are for the particular time of, uh, or period in time, whether that be a calendar year or multiple years, depending on the grant that's awarded to us. And then also tracking expenditures relating to those grants. You know, how do we tag a transaction so that it reflects back against a particular grant in our system? And then do we have the, the visibility, you know, as we've gone along and incurred several expenses, do we have visibility to what is remaining in our grant budget? Um, so that's a very important uh, stick to measure against. So we need to be able to have visibility to what our remaining funds are for the year to make sure that we're not using those things up too quickly. And then is there an ability to reimburse or submit reimbursements uh, for expenditures? You know, how do we manage that? Is there visibility to what expenses haven't been submitted yet um, for reporting. And then in the end, do we have visibility to our entire portfolio? So we're not only managing one grant at a time usually, there's multiple grants and they have different time frames in which that grant is available to us and, and maybe it expires in a certain amount of time. So we have to maintain uh, visibility to the entire portfolio as we're going and, you know, do our systems allow us to do that? So in Business Central, we're going to talk about some of the components that make up uh, the ability to track grants within the system. So one critical factor that we have in, in Business Central is called dimensions. And basically, that's a characteristic or an attribute to a transaction that allows us to tag that transaction to a particular grant or category of that grant. So we can always track and report, and that's the really the main focus and the main driver of this is being able to report in the end, how did we do or how are we doing as we're going along with these grants. And then we have specific GL accounts that we're tracking uh, relating to those grants as well. So we've got some specific GL accounts out there that kind of uh, separate things out and keep them in a particular area so that we can uh, keep those transactions straight. And then we also have a non-accounting uh, structure that we use for transacting and, and reporting on the grants as well. Uh, and what that does, again, like I mentioned earlier, where we have a situation where we may not have an actual transaction at the beginning of the grant, but we need to report it and record it so that we can report on it and have visibility to what we are expecting as far as our grants are. Um, and then we have account schedules and an, an analysis views for reporting. And that's really where we get the visibility of, hey, where are we at with our total portfolio? If I want to drill into a particular grant in the subcategories of that grant, how am I going to do that? And do I have visibility to that as well? So let's move on to Microsoft Dynamics Business Central. And I'm going to go ahead and jump in there right now. So I'll switch over and let's take a look. So here we are in Business Central and I'll walk you through those uh, categories that we just talked about. So kind of the layout of our uh, information and I'm going to start with the uh, the dimensions as I mentioned because that's really the critical part of what makes up the ability for us to actually uh, put that attribute on a transaction and then 
report on it later. So let's take a look at our dimensions first. So our dimensions, uh, we have departments. So we have multiple departments in our uh, scenario here. And then we have grants as a dimension as well. So whenever I set up a new grant, I add that value to this grant dimension. And then we have multiple locations. And then down here we have programs. And we'll take a look at some of these different uh, values that we would select. So if I wanna look at the uh, departments, what departments do we have in our organization? Well, we have an administrative, and then we have community programs. Um, and that's really the department that's gonna drive our uh, transactions or, or kind of be tagged for all of our transactions within the grants. So we're gonna focus on community programs in our department dimension. And then our grants, as uh, I mentioned, we have two different grants in our scenario today. So we've got a federal grant that's granted to us for the year. So it's an annual grant of 500,000. And this is one of those grants where uh, it, it's awarded, but we have to submit for reimbursement for those funds. So as we accumulate expenses, we'll then be able to submit uh, to the government for reimbursement of that expense up to $500,000 for the year. And then secondly, we have this Van Ando family grant which was just a donation from that family, $100,000. They wrote us a check, we record the check, and now we have that uh, to be used as they designated. So they've designated certain areas that we can use that uh, for our community services. So we, that's, a, that's a grant where we've actually received the funds up front and now we can use those funds as we go throughout. And there's really no time restriction. It's just, you know, use up the funds where you need to. So uh, those are the two scenarios that we have with our grants here. So that is where those are. And then the locations, we've got a few different locations, just um, Eastern Michigan, Western Michigan, and Northern Michigan. And then we have some programs and we'll show those real quickly. So our programs for community services, we have counseling, foster care, and outreach. So we can tag our transactions with each one of these dimensions, you know, the community, programs, the specific grant, a location, and then I can bring it right down to foster care or outreach. So those transactions, as we uh, incur them, we're going to tag those specifically so that later we can report, hey, against our budget for how are we running, you know, on this particular grant and in time. So that's our dimension layout. And again, those are the attributes that we're going to be applying to the transactions to give us that visibility as to where we're at in the uh, process. Let's also take a look at our chart of accounts. I'll show you a couple things here. Um, <clears throat> we've got a, a cash account uh, for reserve funds. So when we do receive that cash, it comes into this account and you can see I've got some a balance in here, 91,000. And that's really related to our uh, Van Andel Fund, uh, the family uh, donation that they gave. And the other side of that is this restricted, I'll find it here in a moment. So we've got this restricted income grants account. So here's that $100,000. So here's an example where we've received the funds up front. And then any expenses that are incurred are going to be paid out of that cash account that we showed initially. So we've got that all set up for us. And then to talk about those non-accounting uh, accounts that we've set up in our chart of accounts, these are accounts that we use so that we can record the initial awarded amount for the grant. So here uh, you can see the total of 600,000 being that 500,000 we've received from the federal government and then the 100,000 that we received from the Van Andel family grant. So those transactions are, uh, are booked here for reporting purposes. Now I can report against what our entire portfolio is. I have visibility whether we've actually received that cash, if there was actually a financial transaction or not. I still have visibility to what the full award, awarded amount is for the grants that we're working with in our organization. So these are non-accounting, I call them, accounts. And you can see we've got a standard account uh, this S9000, and then we've got this S9500, which is basically just the offset because we have to create a balancing entry. 
So this one we don't really, you know, it's just the offset account. But these two accounts are not included in our normal financial statements. And you can see they're kind of outside the range. They wouldn't be included in our financial statements, but they will be included in our grant reporting statements. So when I'm looking for the grant, I want to be able to see that total amount, and that's what we're including in our statement. So we'll go ahead and take a look at those grants here now. So uh, let me jump up here and we'll take a look at uh, our account schedules. And this is really where the rubber meets the road. So we've incurred some costs, we've incurred some expenses against our transactions. And in order to report on those, I'm gonna take a look at our account schedule. So I have two different reports out here. I've got a grant activities, and then we have grant budget. So if we can break down each grant and say, hey, for uh, outreach, we're going to spend you know, 25000 this year. For foster care, we're going to spend 120. So you can create that budget and then but, you know, report against that. And initially, we want to record the activities, right? So as transactions start happening in our system, we want to be able to record those activities and make sure that we have visibility to that information. So let's take a look at the grant activities report. So I'll go ahead and let's just take a look at the overview. And this is a full year vision and I'm gonna set the dates here so we can see it properly. I'm gonna go January. So here's our January 31. That just makes our starting date uh, here is January. So we were awarded this grant on January or in January or both of them actually. And that's why we have the 600,000. And you can see we started incurring some cost right away. So we knew as soon as we won that grant, we we're going to start as, um, applying some expenses against that. We've got some salaries and then we have some rent expense um, that are being driven to those particular grants. So just to kind of walk you through this report, you can see I've got my, my grant value up here. So the total awarded amount, and that's pulling again from that uh, grant account, that non-accounting account that we call it. And then we've got some expense accounts here. Uh, and then down here is just a summary. So our awarded amount less our total expenses, which is similar to here. So this is really just kind of a summary of, hey, where are we at? But you can see what's um, nice about this report is I can see how we're burning, right? You know, what's the burn rate of our grant funds for the year? So we've incurred 38,000 in January. We incurred 59. Um, and these are year to date, so it's just burning down. So this is kind of running out the budget. So our last uh, month that we incurred any cost in this scenario is April. So we're down to 516,000 from the 600,000 that we initially started with. Now what's really cool about this report is up here, you can see I've got these different filters. So I've got my grant filter, I've got my location filter, and I've got my programs filter. So these are all those tags that we assign to the transaction. So if I want to look just at the federal government uh, grant itself, here we go. So now it's filtered only to those transactions relating to that grant. So I can see here's the 500,000 awarded amount. Here are the salaries that are going against that particular grant and then other expenses. And I can drill into these expenses and see what these are and take a look at uh, that information. So right from this report, if I want to find out what these transactions are, I can drill right back to the point of entry and see where these transactions have come from. So that gives me a really nice breakdown. And then I can also uh, drill into this. Let's say I want to uh, drill into this a little further and go to our Eastern uh, Michigan location, well now I'm seeing those expenses. So you can see how being able to really drill down and get into these lower levels. So right here I'm seeing my federal government Eastern location outreach program. Here are the costs that we've incurred. Uh, obviously we have a specific designation. Maybe we've got a couple employees that are working specifically on the outreach program. And we're allotting that uh, 
salary to this particular program. So that is where that cost is coming from, and then they've incurred some other expenses. So you can see just by running and tearing down uh, using our filters, we can really break down this uh, reporting and, uh, and show that information. And again, if, if we have to reimburse or submit for reimbursement, we could take this a step further and show you know, these expense details, and then we could create an invoice and submit that to the government for uh, those expenses. So that's the cool part about this. I can run this as well. I can print this uh, report if I wanted to. So let's go ahead and just show you what that looks like. So here's my grant balance, just doing everything there. We'll preview this report. So it pops up, it gives me a really nice looking report here. So again, we've got our visibility to what the grant was, any incur uh, incurred expenses, and what the remaining balance is for that particular grant. And I can see that for the entire year. So super cool, really nice reporting. And again, this is using the account schedule with the um, account analysis view for our grant. And you can see that here. So let's take a look at another report that I have. Uh, and this is the grant budget. So if we were to set up a budget with you know, the lower lying details, he, you know, we understand who our salaried employees are gonna be assigned to particular um, activities within the budget, uh, we can see that as well. So I'll go ahead and run this report. And again, you can see, so this report's laid out a little bit differently. We've got our actual for January, our budget for January, February's actual, February budget, and so on. So I can really track and have great visibility to where we're expecting our cost and to what's actually happening as we're going through. So at this point, um, we're far under budget, which is great, right? So we're um, actually, yeah, because this is the remaining budget, uh, 540 in May. Actually, April was the last month we incurred any cost. So we have 540 left, and we budgeted that we would only have 465 left in April. So we're really doing good. So we've got some expense uh, room there, right? So we can... Uh, go go do some more work there and, and uh, really amp that up. So this gives us great visibility to the breakdown of the budget uh, as we designate them in our system. So again, along with the uh, analysis, analysis views and the account schedules and the use of dimensions in the system, we have great visibility to our, our budgets and our grant uh, available funds and the ability to report on them. So Business Central does a fantastic job with just giving us visibility and the ability to create those transactions and tag them with the dimensions so that we can see this information. Very awesome. So I hope this really gave some light to uh, what you guys are uh, looking for. But if you do have any questions on setting up grants or setting up that configuration, we can certainly help you do that. We also have other videos available uh, on our YouTube channel, so the TM Group Inc. Go ahead and subscribe to that channel, and we've got a ton of different information out there. We're always coming up with new videos uh, out there as well, so feel free to reach out there and enjoy some of our videos. And then finally, uh, if you do have any other questions, please feel free to reach out to us at the TM Group. We are here for you and to help you get the most out of your Business Central application. Thank you so much.